so you know, you get two lanes, you got two lanes, you got two lanes, and then it's an intersection, like lights. And then across the other side, it goes to one lane. But there's like a little, what's called a zipper lane. And there's like, you know, maybe where three or four cars merge. can fit. There's much merging, right? Right, but so I'm in the, I'm in the primary lane. I uh, cross the intersection, I'm there, right? And there's a few people in the zipper lane. And, and I don't give a fuck about them. And, right? and it's courtesy whether you let them in or not. I mean, you can give a space or you can. Yeah, you don't have to. It's actually, no, no there's no law. Have, no, that's against the law. F, F. No, no, that's no, there's right. no F. Yeah, yeah. The no, law? No, I always give space. I give space, man, because that is the law. No, no, it isn't. You give one zipper. You no, you don't. Zippers. You, you, whatever Look safe. it up. Yeah. No, the zipper lane does. You don't give way to the fuckers in the Especially zipper lane. Especially if it's slow motion. Like, if you can't get to speed, then you don't get to enter. That's, Are that's you trying to tell me on a freeway that when you're merging onto a freeway, everyone has to stop their cars to let you onto the freeway? No. No, that's no, not how it's Exactly. manage their speed so that someone can merge in. So, well, actually, if you're on the main road, you don't, like, if you're on the main road, the side road gives way. If you're on a zipper lane, you give way. The, the main the main lane does not give way. The zipper well, lane courtesy sign. Oh, no courtesy is courtesy comes into that. Courtesy comes into that, especially when you're on the like law. a heavy merging lane. But yeah, the law says that you you've got to give way to them. So if you right get up to speed and merge with them, then you've given way to them while merging. That's fine. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. That's so, fine. So I'm That's across the road. I'm there, and this guy starts yelling at me. He starts yelling at me. He's got his window down. I don't really pay. I'm not hearing him, but eventually I hear him yelling at me. So I wind my window. Down. What's up? And he's like, I'm, I'm not. I'm not telling you what to do. But this is a zipper lane. I'm just telling you the law, and you have to let oh. me in. And I said, oh. call, I said to him, call the police. Let them sort it out. <laughs> I said, you live like, up here, don't you? They're going to turn upside. Oh no, exactly. <laughs> and, I'm like, and he's like, I said, you live up here, don't you? And he's like, yeah. And I said, then you knew which lane to be in. You're just being a cunt. <laughs> Goldie on it. And he's like, oh, no, no, I'm not allowed in. It. You've, got like, you've got to give way. I'm like, no, I don't. No, I do not have to give way at all. Well, you need to be informed. Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Well, he was trying to, as if he knew the law. Right. So then I just, I just, I'm just, I'm just behind the car in front of me. And so our mate just thinks he's going to have a go and starts trying to push in on me and like trying to like butt, butt into my car. <laughs> and then we have this little speed off thing. Like I just like accelerate forward to meet, meet the car and he's trying to rush in front. And I just keep, I just keep matching him. I just keep matching this pant. Right. And, then, and I'm just laughing. I'm not in a road rage situation. I find it fucking amusing. No, no. Right. And he's like freaking out. Rah! And he's, and he's in a BMW. Right. And in the end, he realizes. That's the thing. I'm just observing. I'm just laughing. <laughs> like you're a fuckwit. And um, anyhow, in the end, he nearly smashes into my car, which I would have loved. That would have been that would have been the greatest thing ever, because oh, he would have been buying me a new fucking car. There's no one in the you know, you just hold your neck. Oh. Yeah, no, yeah, it would have been, yeah, he's got he's got the insurance to pay for my neck. There we go. Oh, oh, I've got trauma, trauma. So he realized he was about to actually just ram either into me or the freaking or the power line. One of the two had his choice, and he decided to have neither and back off. And so I just continued on. Right? Anyway, I did feel a little bad. Wise choice. Because I do have courtesy. I'm a very courteous, polite driver. But he was being a fuckwit. However, I went. I then I actually I went. I asked. I looked up online while driving. Well, I asked co-pilot, and it, it brought up like the actual New South Wales, um, New South Wales. Uh, what do you put? Yeah, the code just brought it up for me. Yeah, it didn't even fuck around. It didn't show me like a, a chat, chat GPT, chat GPT four version. It showed me the real thing. And the real thing was, no, in a zipper lane, you have to give way to the to the main lane traffic. It's just like any other. Match speed, match yep. speed, or turn around. Yeah, wait. Whip the tail and go. Because the purpose of a zipper lane, correct, is that if you were a few cars across the in, on the intersection, instead of being stuck in the middle of the intersection, that's why they use the lights for pacing. Yeah, that's right. But people use the zipper lane to be a fuckwit, yeah, yeah. not to actually for its actual they purpose. Just, and then they imagine that gives them some entitled freaking state. Anyway, so I had a whole like combat. I had, I had Mad Max, man. I went Mad Max mode on the road. It was gonna be fun. 